Hey YouTube, welcome to TCT and the Crazy Troll Nation of YouTube. Crazy because I am just a little wacky sometimes on here. And troll because I consider myself a troll, a cute troll, but a troll nonetheless. And so if this sounds like your thing, just keep watching. And I am going to jump right into it, so I don't even know why I said that that way. I'm still doing looks with the Natasha Denona Lila palette by Columns. And this video is me using... Um, the second column this row right here and I will list sorry for the glare and yes I did just stick my finger in that middle shade <laughs> I should have did this like this in the first place I put this shade here um, you can probably tell where all the colors are I put this shade here um, as my crease color this shade on the lid and I use this shade down here at the bottom on uh, my inner corner and towards um, the center of the lid. So more so just like the first third of the lid. And I also put that color underneath my lower lash line. So what what is underneath of that is, um, <clears throat> excuse me, my voice, the Fenty eyeshadow primer. And everything else is basically the same as the last video I uploaded a couple days ago when I used column five of this palette. Um, I didn't use a primer, I just used my Olay Moisturizer SPF 25 as a primer. I'm still using another sample of the Becca <laughs> foundation. I do have a full size of that waiting to be used once the sample is done. Concealer, the Sephora Bright Futures Butterscotch 11.5. I set my face with the Lancome Long Time No Shine Powder. No, this is not the container, but I like it, so I put it in here, and I like the powder um, puff that's in here. Um, setting the perimeter of my face was the Fenty Cashew Powder. Also on the perimeter is the Fenty um, Sunstalker in Bajan Gal. And in the hollows of my cheeks is the Fenty Bronzer in Coco. Naughty, but no it is not. This is, <laughs> welcome to the crazy, this is Caramel Cutie. I almost made it through a video without babbling or saying something irrelevant I guess would be the word for that and then what did I do um oh the NARS blush in sin so that's on my cheeks today as was the other day and I'll probably just use all these same products as I go through the columns in this palette and then I'll go by row and do looks on my brows the same thing the Fenty Brow Pencil in um soft black and a Fenty iridescent gloss and this one is Vaycray. This came in a trio and this is the one where I didn't like the applicator because it's not even flexible and it's just like this flat thing that does not bend at all. But I like the colors and it smells good and it's moisturizing my lips and so I'm still debating on whether or not to keep them or not but until I fully decide I will continue to use them. So that is it for this video. If you guys have this palette let me know what types of looks you're doing with them. Feel free to send me the links to your videos that you do with this palette. I am really liking it and I'm liking the textures in here. But yeah, so if you have this, let me know how you're digging it. And I also have other looks I printed off of YouTube videos that I saw that I'm going to do. But I, wanna, I wanted to really just show you guys how easy it was just to go by row. Just three colors, really simple. Or if you wanted to pop another as an inner corner highlight or pop a color as your brow bone highlight or something. But I just wanted you guys to see how simple it was. Just, they're not even rose by columns. I keep saying rose. But let me guys know what you're doing with this palette if you have it, if it's on your radar to purchase during one of Sephora's sales, which is when I purchased it because it is like really expensive. But I am really enjoying it and it, and it is becoming one of my favorite palettes right now because it is so easy to do looks with them. And the shadows blend really nicely as long as you use the proper brush. In that long video I did, you saw where um, I didn't use the proper brush to blend it and it came out patchy, but I was able still to, to work it out. And so I'm going to go because my voice seems to be going and I'm starting to babble. And so thank you for watching and you will see me in the next video. Bye.